And this truly is the gospel in action to where the nations are, and all tribes are brought to one place to where we can't see each other. We hear each other's voice. We hear each other's spirit. We hear each other's soul. Color doesn't matter. Race doesn't matter. Height, width, weight doesn't matter. It's just the love of God matters. And that's all because of you, Dr. John. So without taking up more of your time, I'm going to pass the microphone over to you. And once again, thank you, sir. Thank you for all that you've done doing and all that you continue to do for each and every one of us. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you for, for the kind, the kind introduction. Appreciate it. And uh, what a blessing to work together here on CFM as a team. Yeah. In unity. I'm telling you, this is what Jesus prayed that we might be have unity before he went to heaven. And I'm telling you, it is being answered here on CFM. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's really, really important. And none of us um, have arrived yet. But it's very important to put an emphasis on what the word of God says about you and me and if you listen to people like john always <laughs> when he talks you are the best i just love that amen because that's what amen. god says amen. amen that's what amen. god says about you because god looks at you from the eyes of jesus christ the amen. fact you have jesus christ who dwells in you you are the temple the house. You have to be excited about this. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. To be positive here on CFM prayer line. And I'm telling you right now, more people are going to be logging on. Amen? Yes. And yeah. please yeah. bear with me now and again. I'll do a change. Or And, and more importantly, it's about the Holy Spirit leading and the guiding, depending on the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You can't Amen. go wrong when you depend on the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Okay? Amen. So, these are the things we need to be ready. And sometimes, I know it's not easy. I mean, you may, you may face correction. Who wants to be corrected? But if you want to go to the next level, you're going to need somebody to correct you. So, somebody yeah. to push your behind. Amen? Amen. Somebody, Amen. Maybe somebody to kick your behind. <laughs> Hello? Amen. <laughs> Amen. I know it sounds funny, but it is the truth. Amen? It's true. Yeah. Well, I've had people in my life. I wouldn't be where I am today without them. I had a mentor. Amen? Yeah. Amen. He literally challenged me. He literally pushed me. I had, I had dropped out of school back in Uganda. He said, John, go back. Hello? Amen. We need such a people. But more importantly, you need to understand it is, it is the love of God. Amen? Amen. God rebukes those whom he loves. Indeed, and like yeah. I say, the vision for CFM. People, I'm telling you, a time is coming, even we'll not have enough time to introduce because there will be yeah. so many people <laughs> you can't introduce, otherwise you want to have a speaker. It's true. Okay? It's true. Yeah. And that's why uh, I get people participating and hosting. It's really about training. It's about Amen. discipling. Amen? Amen. Amen? This is what it's all about. Amen? Sometimes, Amen. the other day, I think it was Julie, I just said, now can you introduce us like, John, why are you doing this to me? Amen? <laughs> but we, <laughs> we <laughs> I'm telling you, amen? Because amen. I have gone through this many times, amen? Yeah, amen. amen. I've never forget when I was in London, somebody just gave me a microphone after he introduced me. We have a speaker. He never told me that I was going to speak. 
Hallo? Ja. Er hat ja. mich gar nicht vor. Hallo? Komm zu dir hier. Nein. <lacht> Even this last Sunday, they did the same thing. You are our speaker for on Mother's Day. Here is the microphone. Mm-hmm. No, but I told me, amen. But I'm yeah. just telling you, brethren, we have to be ready. That's the word, ready, ready, amen. Amen. And that is why it is so important we declare. Tonight I want to talk to you about the hope we declare, amen. 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 Why do we declare? Because we have hope. Amen? Yeah. Amen. The door is going to be what you might as well declare. You might as well de- decree. You might as well announce it. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm telling you. Pastor Lawrence, declare. Your, your daughter is going to be born. She's going to be a powerful, powerful woman. Amen? Amen. Amen. My dear Pastor Lawrence uh, w- w- was uh, was surprised because the speech showed me that uh, the, <laughs> the, his wife was going to get a baby girl. And hey. like Pastor, <laughs> Pastor Lawrence was like, how did you know that? Hello? <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. I'm mm-hmm. telling you. You, you, when when you have Christ in you, you you will know. Don't be, well. I don't know. Maybe, perhaps. You know. No. Mm-hmm. The Holy Spirit knows. Yes, you in, in in humanity you don't know, but the Holy Spirit who dwells in you, you know. You know. Amen. Amen. John eight thirty two. You know the truth. You don't read about the truth, but you know, you know the truth. And if you know the truth, what do you do? You declare it. Amen. 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 You don't start saying, well, perhaps I was wrong. But no, no. That's why Paul said, walk, walk in the spirit. Amen. When you walk in the spirit, there is no room to fulfill the desires of the flesh. Amen. 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 And I go to say this in the first of the Lord is five, is it twenty-five? You are a spirit. We are two three parts. Spirit, body, and the soul. You got to yeah. know that. You are a spirit. And Amen. the spirit of God dwells in you. Amen? Yeah. Amen. I really want you to know this. Let's read the scripture. Uh in uh I'm talking about the hope we declare. Hebrews 10 and verse 23. Uh, this is a scripture we have read before. And uh, probably Bishop is the one who's going to read it because I don't think you have the new living translation. For some reason, King James left it out that word hope. But in the original, it's there. Okay, it's not in New King James, and sometimes in New King James, when they translate, they will put words in italics. In other words, they couldn't come up with the word. But of course, yeah. they put there there, but they want you to know it is in italics. It's not original. Okay? Yeah. And it is a similar thing here. You'll find the word hope, New Living Translation. I really like a New Living Translation. So, brother John, can you read that in Hebrews ten twenty three? Yes, Hebrews sir. Hebrews ten twenty three. Let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep His promise. Wow! Oh, Amen. Isn't it? Amen. Amen. Powerful scripture. Let us. Amen. As believers, as born again, amen, tightly, tightly, amen? Amen. Hold without wavering. The other time you are hot, the other time you are cold. What does the Bible say about that? Hello? Yes. Yeah. We are supposed to be hot. Jesus lives in us. To the hope we are firm. To the hope we have a firm. To the hope we decree. To the hope we declare. Amen? Amen. Amen. 
Amen. There is a power in your confession. There is a power. Please remember, our God, our Father, when he created, what did he use? He used the words. He spoke. Amen. Amen. In the book of Genesis, the Bible says, and the God said. Amen? Amen. Now God lives in you. Sickness comes to you. Say, I am healed. Say, I am the righteousness of God. Say, I have overcome. Amen? Amen. You need to get into this habit. Yeah. God is going to give you some assignments. And some of these assignments, they're going to need mo money. Hello? Yeah, true. Amen. There's a brother. I mean, this brother couldn't, couldn't afford to, to, to buy a Bible. That's how poor he was a pastor. But mm -hmm. eventually got the revelation and he started confessing. Now as I talk, he's talking, he's building, uh, he's over, over millions now. He's in two, he's talking about a billion. Hello? Mm -hmm. But it started with declaring. He couldn't okay. afford to be on radio. Now, eventually, he was on radio. Now, now he's on TV. He's got like okay. about over two million people listening to him. Guys, amen? Amen. But it all started with this hope. It all started with believing. It all started with trusting God. Again, the word is in here. I'm going to ask you, Bishop, to read this one more time. For God, listen to this. For God can be what? Trusted to keep his promise. Yes. Amen. Yeah. You can Amen. count on God. Amen? Yeah. Amen. You can take God at his word. By the way he says his word, it, it, it's even above his name. Man gets that. Hello? Amen. That's how powerful it is. Amen? Don't Amen. settle for the Don't settle for less. God wants you to have the best. Amen? Amen. I know sometimes we get beat up. You are not the first one to be beat up. Hello? <laughs> and then we end up settling. I think God wants me poor. No! No! Amen? How are you going to help people Amen. if you are poor? Hello? How are you going to help people? You can't afford to buy even a, a ticket. Eh? You, can, you, you can't afford to buy gas. <laughs> you know, uh, when, when uh, John and Amaria, when they came to Boston, I was, I was really interested. I said, you guys, <laughs> how much did you pay for driving those uh, three days from Texas to Boston? Hello? Mm. They told me it is in hundreds. Hello, amen. Amen. Can you imagine if they if they can't afford that, they wouldn't have driven to Boston. Amen. Amen. I, I'm just telling you this. We got to believe God, but we have to have this hope. What type of hope? Uh, of declaring. I like this word. I'm gonna ask you to read it one more time. I want everybody to get that word, trusting in God. Bishop, could you read that one more time? Yes, Please sir. listen to this script. I love it. Let us hold fast, hold tightly, without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted yes. to keep his promise. Count on God, amen? Amen. Amen. Today we have people in the world, they would count on stock market. I was in the stock market. Hello? Yeah. You can't count on stock market. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes the stock market is so sensitive like a woman. It, it can go down. I lost money. I made money. You know, but <laughs> the word <laughs> of God, you can trust in it. Amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hello? Amen. Yeah. Amen. You can't trust on God. Let God be number one in your life. Amen? Amen. 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 Yeah, I know it's beautiful to get married, but you need to watch out. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Abraham got in trouble with his wife. Yeah. He said, hey, how about you going sleeping in with my maid and we can get the baby, you know? 
Hello. <laughs> you are responsible mm. to trust in God. If God is saying you're going to have a son, you will have the son. The son. God is not in a hurry. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I know sometimes we treat God as if he's in a hurry. I got a deadline. So what? Hello? That's right. Amen. Yeah. So what? Amen? Amen. So what? We, we, we start doing, we start making crazy decisions. You know, I got a deadline. If I don't decide today, I'm going to be in trouble. No. Amen? Amen. Amen. You remember the, the, the sisters of Lazarus? Man, they, they fidgeted. They, they, they were nervous. I mean, they were, they were saying, Jesus, how could you do this? Eh? You were mm -hmm. friend of Lazarus. Why didn't you come earlier? Eh? They had so many yeah. things in their heads. Yeah. And Jesus, very cool as always. Amen? Amen. Amen. What did he say? That? He said, I am the resurrection. Amen? Amen. I am the man. Don't worry. You got Jesus. Hello? Amen. I got, I, I got this. Amen. I like people who talk like, I got this. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You got it. Why? Because you have Jesus. Amen. 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 Trust in him. That's all he's saying. Lean. Lean on him. Amen. 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 We need to get this. We need to get this in our spirits. Sister Sibyl, read Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, please. This is another one. Talking about trusting. Amen? When you Amen. trust, that means you have faith in God. Amen? Amen? Amen. By the way, it's the only way you can please God. You really want, you really want to please God, trust in Him. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, trust in Him. That pleases him. I know there are some of you, you know, you want to do these other things in, like fasting and praying and, and, and I have nothing wrong with that, but he's more interested in you trusting in him. Amen? Amen. 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 It doesn't help you to do trusting and the fasting. You, you, you don't trust in him. Amen? Amen. 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 Go ahead, Sister Sibo. Please get this. Okay. Okay. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not under thy own understanding. In all thy wow. ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct wow. thy paths. Amen. Wow, man. Now you want to get in trouble? Don't don't do that. I promise you will be in trouble. Amen. Amen. Because most of the troubles we get into, they are self inflicted. Some of us we are stubborn. Some of us we are hardly heated. You know. <laughs> God is saying, trust in God. Well, yeah. what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? Hello? Who is going to help me if I don't help myself? Mm -hmm. Those kind of thinking, those kind of talking, who is going to help me? No, God will help you. Hello? Amen. Yeah, God will help you. Hello? <laughs> I mean, if I don't do it, who's going to do it? If I don't, who's going to do it? God will, because he said he will. Amen? Amen. Amen. These are simple phrases, but they are powerful. Amen? Amen. Amen. Why not? Mine is too much. No, no, it's not too much, because we got a God who is a miracle worker. Hello? Amen. Amen. He's generous. He can, he, he can turn wine into water. <laughs> Hello? Water, water into wine. Can you imagine this? Yeah. Water into wine. wine. Yeah, water, water into wine. wine. <laughs> there you go. Amen? Amen. <laughs> I get excited about this. Amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> I mean, you are at a wedding, man. Eh? Think about it. All of a sudden, they run out of wine. They run out of water. Amen? Amen. Sorry, they run out of wine. Amen? Amen. 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 But the good news, Jesus was there. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen? You know, Jesus was not religious. I mean, he could attend, he could attend these people drinking wine. <laughs> Hello? Amen. You know, some of us, we, have, we become too religious. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, Amen. who's... Sorry, 
because, because we become religious, some of us have been raised in being religious. Mm -hmm. We need to come out. We are a new creatures in Christ. Amen? Amen. Yes. We are the what? New creatures. We are the righteousness of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. So, what can you offer to God? What can you offer to him? Have faith. Amen? Amen. Amen. What can you offer to him? Have obedience. Amen? Amen. Amen. What can you offer to him? Believe. He's not asking that much. Amen? Amen. Amen. One time his disciples said, how come we just can't cast this demon out? And they told them in Matthew 17, so I prayed for my phone. Amen? Amen. 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 Sometimes Amen. I can't figure some of these things. I'm not all that technical, amen? I said, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like me. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know some of you things. <laughs> I'm still learning some things. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm, I'm, I'm not like a John Bishop, amen? Amen. 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 Because so some of these people, man, they make some of this like a graphic design. Say, wow, amen. Would I ever yeah. do something like that? Amen. Calm down, amen. <laughs> Calm yeah. down. God has brought brother amen. John Bishop. You do it. John Bishop will help you, amen. Man. Amen. They will make you look good. Amen. Man. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Are you with me? Yes, yes sir. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. God can be trusted, amen? Amen. amen? Can you think of anybody who can trust 100%? No. no. Hello? But no. here in the Bible, you can trust God 100%. Amen? Amen. amen? amen. Yes. Stop. Stop trying to figure things out. Because before, you know, you can't even sleep the whole night. I couldn't sleep. Because you are trying to figure things out. Go to bed. God is always is up. He's awake 24-7. Amen? Amen. Yes, why should, why should both of you be awake? Think about it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. I'm telling you the truth. There are things we cannot figure out. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Think somebody hurts you. You want to do vengeance. God is saying, no, leave that to me. Hello? Amen. 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 And you feel like, you know, I'm going to give you my peace of mind. Before you know you give all your pieces, they will be gone. <laughs> Amen. 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 Let him help you out. Just calm down. Just praise him. Just worship him. Just be like a, like a, like a Paul in prison. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Man, just love God. He doesn't ask many things. Amen? Amen. Amen. When you are in prison, you don't have room to go to the mountain and seek God. No. You got God inside you. You got the presence of God inside you. Even in the prison. Amen. That's right. Amen. Hello? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sometimes we are in difficult situation, but I want you to know Christ in you, and when he comes to be in you, you got the presence of God. Amen? Amen. 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 Yes. Stop doing stupid things. I mean, your sins you just know. Living in sin, you, you, it, living in sin, it has consequences. Amen? Amen. Amen. When you live in so in sin, you are giving an inroad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are you you are basically yielding. Why would you do that? Amen. 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 Why would you go to bed with the devil? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this is the stupidest thing to live in sin. It has consequences. I tell you that. Amen. 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 And when the enemy comes in, don't say, see what God has done. No, God hasn't done anything. You did it to yourself. Sorry. Even the devil hasn't done anything. If you did it yourself. Amen. 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 
when you live, when you walk in the Spirit, when you walk in the love of God, the devil is not going to mess with you. The Bible is clear. Mm -hmm. The devil is like a lion, rolling, rolling. Look for whom he may devour. Amen? Mm -hmm. So if you are living in sin, he's coming in. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You live with this woman, you know you are not married to her. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello? Amen. Amen. It has a promise. Amen? Amen. Amen. Again, I want to put this emphasis. Yes, yes we have men of God. Look, look in the book of it, uh, Hebrews 11. I just love that book. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's where we find heroes of faith. They had faith in God, amen? Amen. And they have challenges. Yes, yes. When you study the lives of these Bible characters in the book of uh, book of Hebrews 11, they had to fight. Hello? Uh, amen. amen. They had to struggle. Hello? Amen? Amen. 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 But they made a decision. We're going to walk in faith. Amen? Amen. Amen. And when you walk in faith, God will not abandon you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Look at Noah. He had to fight. He endured. In the yak, my friend. Think about it. How about Abraham? He had to fight. It was not easy. He had a child out of the wedlock, but that did not stop him, according to what, Romans 4.19, amen? Amen. Amen. The Bible says he did not waver in his faith, amen? Yes, he made a mistake. Yes, he goofed. Yes, he did something stupid, but he never gave up, amen? Amen. Yeah, amen. Man, that's good. I get encouraged when I read such a Bible characters, amen? Amen. 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 I thought. He had, he endured, he endured hardness. That's what the Bible endure hardness as the soldier of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Abraham lied two times. He said, "Well, this woman is your wife." No, no, she's my sister. Hello. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You're gonna get those texts. They're gonna come in your way. Amen. 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 But Amen. God never gave up on Abraham. He told the king, you king, don't touch Sarah. Don't touch that woman. You better take her back. No matter of fact, when you take her back, take some gift. Wow. Hello? Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. of us would like to say, you, you burn, burn. <laughs> Hello? You did it yourself, but not to God. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. true. God doesn't have that attitude. You're going to fall and burn. No, God does not give up on you. Amen? Amen. 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 Yes, Jacob struggled. He lied. Amen. To get the birthright. Amen. Went into exile. And the things didn't get better. Amen. His yes. uncle Levan lied to him. The woman he wanted, he had to work for 14 years instead of, of 7 years. Hello? But, Joe, but, but Jacob never gave up, amen? Actually, his name eventually was changed, amen? It was called Israel. I'm just saying this, guys, to encourage you, amen? Amen. We are living in this world. This world is not perfect, but we are not of the world, amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. How about Moses? Amen. Man, things man. with Moses, things were bad. His, his wife left to him. Hmm. Hello? That's not a good thing, your wife to leave you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen? Man. Man. Amen. But still, he went on on the mission to deliver the children of Israel. They could not even uh, support him. Amen? Man. The people you are helping, they are not even with you. But he still knew he was on God's mission. Amen? Amen. Things didn't look for him. I mean, he could perform miracles, but things even seem to be getting worse. But he can't be there. 
Again, this is the message I'm talking about. You having hope in God. You having your trust in God. Things are not going to be forever. The Paul said, I love Paul, said that these things are a temporal. Amen? Amen. Amen. He calls them little afflictions. Hello? Some of you, something comes, you say, oh my God, this is the biggest thing. I think it's going to destroy me. No! Amen? Amen. 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 destroy the way Jesus Christ is in you. Yeah. Some of you, that, that tongue of yours will hang you. Hello? Mm -hmm. Watch the words coming out of your mouth. Remember there is a miracle in your mouth. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Speak the word of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. How, how about Gideon? And 6.12. He was told, he was called a mighty man of valor. I love that. He said, are you kidding me? Are you, uh, look, I can't even get food. I'm hiding even to get the food. You call me a mighty man of valor, of, of valor. What are you talking about? Hello? Mm -hmm. You better trust in God, President. Amen? Amen. Amen. When God calls you a mighty man of valor, yes, you are. He knows you. He, I mean, He knew you before when you were go, you got born again. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. Just trust in Him. Amen? Amen. We need to trust a lot. I know some people get even scared. Well, you know, I know some of us who preach the grace of God. Well, you guys, I mean, people talk, man, oh, you are alone, you can't make it, and, uh, and uh, God would, <laughs> you could lose your salvation. Why would you think like that? Why would you even put an emphasis on that? You are the righteousness of God through faith. Amen? Amen. 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 You didn't work to get righteousness of God. God gave it you as a gift. Hello? Amen. Where do you get the power to take God's gift away from yourself? Hello? Amen? Amen. Amen. By the way, did you know? I mean, I've studied the Bible. I don't remember coming across anybody in the Bible who lost his salvation when he believed in God. Hello? Amen. Yeah, I know somebody might say Judas. Well, okay. if Judas... <laughs> no, I know. Serious. It's, Judas, you know, by the way, was... It's huh? funny you said that that's the first name popped into my head. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, no. I've heard this so many times because I deal with it. Amen. I get this question. I mean, people can fire questions at you. You better know your Bible. Hello? Yeah. Because if you don't know your Bible, you can easily be confused. Amen. Yeah. Judas, Judas was not even a believer, by the way. Amen? That's right. In a matter of fact, Jesus yeah. told Judas, one of you, you're going to betray me. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. 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 In a matter of fact, if Judas had waited and not then committed suicide, I mean, Jesus would have forgiven him. Hello? Amen. Yes, he would have forgiven him. Amen? Amen. God love. I'm praying, the brethren, you get this. God's love for you. Amen? Amen. Amen. All the years Amen. of my life, I'm here to see a man giving his son to die for his enemies. We were yeah. enemies. For God. That's true. But God sent his son to die for us. Think about that, guys. Amen. Yes, I love you guys at CFM. I love you. But I'm not ready to sacrifice my son for you. Amen. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you. But it's God true. has done it. I didn't want you to see his love. Amen? Amen. Yes. Amen? 
Mm-hmm. I know sometimes man yeah yeah times that you go through things you feel you feel like you are alone I'm telling you the truth amen amen, amen. but I want you to know trust God he's with you amen yeah yeah, yeah. Trust God. Yes, this is hard. This is difficult. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Just have hope. It's going to be fine. Amen? Amen. Yes. He has been taking care of you. Thank you. My time is up. I get excited about this. Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, I'm so glad you were able to be with me tonight. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you very much. And and I'm really excited this year. We are having more people coming in from other countries. Amen. Yes. 